And, and it's no different than from from a telesales perspective. You know, we get it a lot where we walk in and, and say, "What? You're not on the phone? What's, you're just sitting there? What's going on?" Oh, I got a I got an appointment um, in 20 minutes. I got a call back in 20 minutes, so I don't want to get stuck on a presentation. And it's just like, how many of your callback appointments actually answer the phone? It's true, right? So like, if Probably like the, <laughs> how is the how is the best case scenario is I'm on a presentation exactly. and my two thirty becomes a three, and I call and just apologize. And there's a good chance they weren't going to answer the phone anyways. Mm. And so, you know, you've got to make sure you're not, you know. I like that. You're not counting your chickens before they hatch, right? I like that. You know, you hear that all the time. You're like, how was the day today? Good? Any sales? Almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Got a lot of contracts guy, you know, out there. He says he wants the 30000 It's $250 a month. Um, and all he needs to do is is have me call him back tonight because, you know, his checkbook's at home. All he needs is a bank account and some money. Right. <laughs> yeah, but he's ready. Really. So I, I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> screw up calling that person, right? And they get so focused on that. Why you know, do we, we get do so caught up in the weeds and like analysis paralysis and like? Is it just sometimes we prioritize dumb stuff to avoid working? <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know. I think you nailed it. I was I was like that too. I I used to make. Uh, if, if Grant was here, he'd say. I mean, I was the worst at. This was very hard for me to make the transition because my, my father is from a um, small coal mining town in Kentucky. And so he's like old fashioned and, and Southern and all this stuff. And so growing up, like telemarketing was such a novel concept because I saw the way he answered the phone and did all that stuff. And it was very hard for me to understand that it wasn't my dad that I was calling. Like I tried to practice on him and he's like, son, I still, you know, he didn't understand why I was yeah. trying to do what I was yeah. doing. But mm. he wasn't, he's not who I was after. And it, it was hard for me to understand that because he took care of life insurance when he was, you know, a lot younger before I was born. You know, we had all that taken care of. We're after people that, you know, are the ostrich, right? To put their head in the sand and just pretend like they don't have to worry about it. And um, that's why I remind myself all the time that there are more people working in call centers than everywhere else. And, and it wouldn't be that way if it didn't work. Um, but when I first started, I'd still just be like, listen, th- this guy, he's, I know he's going to buy. I know this. He just needs to see something, right? So I'm just going to put this. I would spend hours making like Excel spreadsheets and putting numbers in there and like custom typing out a whole letter explaining all this stuff. Put this whole packet together, get some stamps to that. Waste three hours of time, Yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and go <laughs> mail this out, you know, thinking that if he just got that and did that. But it's like. These people have, have have known about insurance their whole life. They've talked. I'm probably the 35th person they've talked to yeah. about insurance. You know, and it took me a long time to. I think that's a good tip for people is understanding like you know this wasn't some you know Cutco knife set like no yeah. this to Cutco. They make great knives, but like if somebody knocks on my door selling me knife 30 seconds ago. I didn't know I needed new knives until he showed me that I could cut through concrete or, or whatever it yeah. was, right? And but, the current ones can't cut a tomato. <laughs> right. And, <laughs> but with, you know, insurance, like I've always known it, right? And it's like, so you're not telling me anything I don't already know. And so there isn't some revelation there. I don't need to, it's not a Kirby vacuum, right? I don't need to, to see the benefits, although it's an important part of the presentation. And that's why, you know, I, I really got everyone to understand that you're really selling yourself because they're going to buy from somebody that they like. And, you know, I don't say this to the client, but we have an expression. It's like, you're 67 and uninsured for a reason. So like we're talking today because you've had 67 years to think about this. You mm. know, so. Hmm. I like that. You said something that triggered something for me too, uh, which was when you're putting together that package, you know, and sending it out to Joe, it's like, that is going to be the one, you know, oh, it's like so much time. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's good. You mentioned that. Cause it's like, there's a lot of agents out there sitting there doing that kind of stuff. And it's also in sales, like we just said about how we're looking for reasons not to work, but also we're always looking for the easiest way to make a sell. You know, it's like, okay, well, if I drove leads to this landing page and then they booked themselves and then Oh, by the way, they get an email the next day, and then they're gonna just fill out the application and, and do the phone interview. How can I get to where I make sales without talking to people? Yeah, you get know? some click wrap sales in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like agents are always looking for the, and I, I was probably the worst to this because I was always good at marketing and prospecting. I was like, okay, how can I make twenty grand a week 
and not talk to anyone. It's like, dude, that is stupid. It doesn't exist. All right, there's some gurus out there on Facebook right now that'll argue with us, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they will. They yeah. will. No, 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 because they're selling you the course to do it. I know. I that's how I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting here in Jamaica, and I can show you how to do what I'm doing. Oh, oh, oh you're making fun of me, me calling leads in Jamaica. No, I'm no. just kidding.